Okay, so here's a demo of Accurate Scribe working with TPP System 1. So first of all, on the Accurate toolbar, we just see this lovely new icon, this microphone up here. Yep, you're speaking. And this activates your Accurate Scribe. Um, Accurate did actually show that they're going to redesign this toolbar. So depending on when you're looking at this video and if this video is dated, it could look very different to this. But let's click on that icon. Now, the first time you experience Accurate Scribe as the first user in the practice or organization, you can get some warnings, some explanation about agreements and risks that you need to consider. But once you've done that, you go straight to this screen. So first of all, it says, hello, Shanko, it greets me. It knows who I am, just in case I've forgotten who I am. And that's definitely possible. But we can start by clicking that lovely big bold start button and then that will click in. But I need a test patient. So everything here is a test um, patient live in system one. And I've got this really young volunteer that I know very well and it's coming in to be a test patient. Right, so if we click start. So hello, hi, I'm Dr. VJ. And what's wrong with you? I have a bit of a sore throat. Bit of a sore throat? How long has it been going on for? About a week. A week? That's a long time. Is it getting better or worse? It's getting a little bit better, but mostly just staying the same. Okay. And apart from the sore throat, anything else that you've noticed? I've got a sniffy nose. Sniffy nose? Oh gosh, that sounds a bit sniffy. And then what about your ears? Um, any ear pain? Not really. No? No ear pain? Okay. Bit boring that, <laughs> but let's carry on. And any temperature? No. No temperature, okay, okay, all right. Now, any other questions you think a doctor should ask you that I might have forgotten? Yeah. Yeah, what? What do you think it is? Oh, good idea. <laughs> what do you think it is? Tonsillitis. Tonsillitis, okay. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe I don't need to do anything because you're probably right. It's tonsillitis. But anyway, maybe maybe you're wrong. I don't know. But then I'm meant to know, I guess, because I'm a doctor. <laughs> anyway, anything you've taken for this medicine? Paracetamol and I'm taken for this medicine. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. Have you taken any medicine? Paracetamol and ibuprofen. Okay. Were they any good? They helped for a little while, but then it didn't help because it went back to normal. Okay. And you know when you bought the paracetamol and ibuprofen, do you buy those expensive brands like Calpropin and ibuprofen or like Nurofen or just some cheap stuff? Cheap stuff. Yeah, good choice, good choice. <laughs> anyway, we, we're getting off the topic. Let's get back to your throat. Okay, can we have a look at your throat? Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, okay. It looks, <laughs> do you know what? It's a bit red, but not that much. It's a bit boring, really. It's really are you slightly red? Not a lot of pus or anything. It's not tonsillitis to me. Can we have a quick look in your ears? Your ears sound look clear. Well, they don't sound. <laughs> yeah, they look clear. The ears look clear. Let's have a listen to your chest. Your chest is um, absolutely clear. Um, I can't hear any sounds. I'm just going to now check your temperature with the thermometer. Oh, great. 37 degrees. And I'm just going to listen to your chest again. And we're going to put this finger probe on your fingers. Just mention your auction. Your auction saturation is 99% on air. So anyway, thanks for coming in. And just if we were to summarise this, I reckon this is something called a little virus. It's a little cute little virus. Not one of those horrible, not so cute bacteria. And I don't think you need anything. I don't think you need any antibiotics or anything at the moment. And I think you've done all the right things by taking paracetamol and ibuprofen, particularly that you bought the cheap stuff, not the expensive stuff. So I think you've done all the right things. And I think you just need to give it a little bit more time. Okay. Okay. So how do you feel about that? Fine. Fine, you sure? Do you want to come back again? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I've got one question. Okay, what is that? Is it better to be 99% or 100% on oxygen stuff? Okay. Hmm. It depends, really. Well, the biggest problem here is this oxygen patch only got two digits. It only shows up to 99%. 100% is even better. But anyway, it doesn't really make a difference. Let's now tell you one last thing. If it does get worse, if you get worried, make sure you tell your parents. Your parents should have been here today, by the way. And really, you need to either contact us back and be it reviewed or call NHS 111 and they can tell you what they think they need to do. Does that sound okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let, great. So now, let's see what Accurate Scribe thought of all of that, including the um, side conversation. So we just click on Finish and Create. takes a bit of time it just it just it's just whirling it's it just whirling and it's just working this out and here we go 
So basically, if we read through this, sore throat for seven days, slight improvement, but largely unchanged, associated with nasal congestion, no ear pain, no fever, self-administrated parasitic ibuprofen provide temporary relief, uh, but symptoms re return to baseline. So the patient suspects tonsillitis. So it caught that. It realised you were using parasitic ibuprofen. And then my examination, pretty much got the saturation 99% on air. It didn't get our conversation about the 100% um, being better or not, the 99%. It didn't really capture about the ears, it just left a blank there. And their mouth and throat, it noticed that redness, but no significant escalate. That's a fancy word for plus. And again, we sort of gave that impression about being viral, contact 111 if worse. Um, so pretty much got it, what's got the temperature. Now, first of all, if you try to save this to record, it will give a warning. It will say to you, do you want to review your note? So let's do that. And if we review it, and it is important to review it. We can sort of think about, is it anything we want to add or click in or amend? Um, you know, maybe we could say here, you know, ibuprofen gave gave some relief, you know, for the medicine that you took. It says that there. Yeah, oh, it did say that further up, so I could actually realise that it was already captured and deleted it. Oh, my mistake. But as you can see, like, you know, that's an opportunity to edit it. But what we do need to edit is, like, the ears, you know, we just thought it was clear. You know, or we could say uh, NAD, nothing, you know, abnormal detected. So if I'm happy with that, now this is, the last thing was, this was using an Acorex template, a style of structure. And basically, if you just click on here, you've got the options to pick different template structures like nurse appointment, pharmacy appointment, so different styles. And if you want to actually dictate an adjustment, like for example, if you click on here, you can actually do sound adjustments. So if I just want to click there and dictate something like, and the ears had no wax. <coughs> and then we hit the stop button and you can see it's sort of dictated that through there. Not that I actually really wanna keep that. So that's pretty much done. Um, yeah, and so I'm just gonna just take off that bit. So let's just see how the saving works. So if we just, we can clear this bit as well. So I'm just gonna clear this as well. I wanna save it to record so that big, blue button, click on save to record. And this is where the magic happens. It's asking me to confirm if I've got the correct patient on system one. And I do, this is that correct test patient. And I click on save to record. And it says save succeeded. One, and then let's look at system one. So this is that consultation saved in the record in a structured form. I would say though, that although it's structured, it's structured as sort of free text into one field in, in, in the consultation um, template in system one, whereas in system one, we'd normally um, say those different sections in different sections. So there could be still potential improvement in this. Anyway, that was a really quick demo of how Accurate Scribe works with system one in an integrated fashion with right back into the clinical record.